Rick Maddox, you know, I think is a guy that's got, you know, some serious military background. And he finds himself now in this privatized world working for Omnicorp. And, um, you know, so he's definitely kind of a, a button-down guy. You know, but he's also a little snarky. You know, he's got a bit of an attitude. Um, he really loves his robots. You know, he calls them his guys. He goes out into the world with hundreds of these things as their handler and overseer. And the thing about all of these robots is Rick is about minimizing risks. So these, you know, the uh, ED 209s and the EM 208s, any given stimulation, he knows exactly what those robots are going to do. So he's kind of got a problem with RoboCop. You know, he's training them to the best of his abilities, trying to be, you know, one of the guys helping out, but he's doing it with a little bit of attitude because he really feels that if you put organics into the system, that you've just created a system that now will probably kind of hesitate at the wrong time and increase risks. And to Rick, I think that um, that's something that, that worries him and bothers him. Joel Kinnaman is playing uh, Robocop. And uh, I became a fan of his watching The Killing. And so when I first started like looking at the script and you know thinking about it and I heard that he was playing Robocop, I was like, he is perfect for this role. You know, just his whole physicality, his, um, uh, the way he performs, you know, he's a wonderful actor. Um, and, we, and he's also a very nice guy. So it was really neat getting out here and kind of getting to hang out with him and, and, uh, and chat a bunch. You know, we have some cool conversations sitting around the set. And, um, but it's kind of scary sometimes. Like the very first day when we did this scene, and uh, that's when I was kind of in the locker room telling him about all these things. And he kind of walks up to me to shake my hand. I'm this huge guy with the outfit just makes him seem all that much hu huger. And it was like literally intimidating. You know, not acting wise, just kind of like, whoa, you know, <laughs> which is great when anything could, you know, be a little organic. But um, yeah, Joel's great. Joel's RoboCop suit, you know, I think is awesome. It just looks, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so much more updated now. And what's neat too is we kind of go through a few iterations, you know, through in the movie. Because, you know, the whole design department is trying to figure out, okay, what's the right suit to, to, to make it, you know, to where he's, you know, people will kind of like him, not be scared of him, but yet at the same time be scared of him if they're doing something wrong. So, you know, they kind of, the movie tries to, you know, a couple of different, you know, RoboCop outfits. And, and this last one is, the, you know, the one that they settle on. And uh, the first one was kind of neat because it was a little bit of a throwback to the old RoboCop. You know, and then this new version, it's a little bit sleeker, you know, it looks like it could be faster and, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> 